Hello friends, welcome to the joy of dying. On today's show, we'll be showing all sorts of different dying techniques in the game of Worm. Um, for example, here we have uh, our good friend, let's call him Clyde. And, you know, maybe, maybe Clyde went out and played in the grass today. So he got all dirty. Maybe he got grass all, all over his all over his armor. There. There. And it's okay to you know mix up mix up the greens. You know, just get all sorts of different color greens in there. 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 Alright, and, and and maybe and maybe he, he, he decided to uh, grow some bunny ears. Put some bunny ears on, yeah. Maybe he wanted to go bouncing, you know, have some fun jumping through the, jumping through the, the, the meadow. There. There. There we Wait. go. Did we start recording already? Uh... Yeah, we did. everyone thanks for joining us and thanks for allowing us into your homes my name is Brian this is my brother Adam over there and you're watching Saturday Night Factional Fight Plays where I'm online and today we're going to die things we're gonna learn all about the world of dying which uh, Adam is very excited about aren't you yeah I mean, it's something that I've started learning in the recent past, and uh, you know, I I feel like we're getting to that point in our village where things are going to start needing to be dyed to get some color into this area. So I've been skilling that that thing up and figuring it all out. Yeah, yeah. and I am not the dyer. I don't. I, ha I haven't really made any dyes or delved into that. There's an actual whole system. Usually in games you create some dye, so you create the red dye or whatever and you just dye stuff in the game, but it's, it's a little more complicated in this game. Uh, it's not so cut and dry. It's not, let's create a red. These are the colors that you can create. Pick it. That's the color you have. Now that's it. You actually have to uh, there's actually skill involved and quality control with it, it, it uses, uh, you said, the RGB values. We'll have to That's get right. into that. Yeah. Also, you have to gather the mats. Different yeah, mats produce different colors. It's quite complicated. The first thing that I would definitely suggest to you guys is to go onto the wiki and just look up dye. I think dye or dye making. Let's double check that. You just look up. Yeah, just look up dye. D-Y-E and that'll bring you to the die page where it gives you all the information that we're about to explain here um, so first off what is dying in worm how does it work well dying in worm uh, is based off of the RGB color wheel um, all of the colors that are that exist on that RGB spectrum, you have the ability of recreating. Um, the basic idea is you gather the correct mat, like the correct uh, item in the game, and you uh, use the skill natural substances mm -hmm. uh, to create uh, the dye. Uh, you have to usually mix the, the item with water, 
and that'll give you one kilogram of dye and you can keep doing this over and over and over again until you get the quantity of dye that you would like. All right. Well, let's say I don't have any skill, but I want to dye something anyway. So, like I don't have any skill, C can you? Does it still does it fail completely or does it still allow me to create the dye? No, it allows you to create the dye. It might limit you to high RGB values. It also might limit um or it might make it so that you're wasting a lot of mats. So you're wasting you know cuz you'll fail a lot or you will uh try to make like let's say you take a 40 quality item like a woad and you're trying to make a blue and you put it together and you're going to get something that's lower than 40 quality like 20 quality or 10 quality so if you want to get that max quality uh, it's better to get your skill up so what does low quality dye do to the color um so essentially let's say you're you're creating a low quality blue uh the first thing it does is it lowers the blue value. So uh, the, the RGB values go from 0 to 256, and the three primary colors are red, blue, and green. And so the blue level might be like a low value, like 150 or something, would be considered a fairly low that number. And then the other two values will be higher, which essentially um, causes the blue to be a little bit paler, uh, not paler, but oh, muddier I don't know what the word or something? Mud, yeah, that's a good word, muddier. So it's not quite a good blue. It'll be darker, or less vibrant. So for people that are familiar with programs like Photoshop or something like that, where they have uh, like the RGB color wheels and the color uh, picker, essentially Worm just uses the exact same color values? Pretty RGB. much. Pretty much. So you I mean, go online. Do you have a suggestion? What What would you look up if you wanted to find like an RGB? Yeah, I usually look up RGB, uh, either online or color wheel or something like that. Okay, and there's quite good ones here. Yeah, this is one that I often will find myself at, and you know, you have a slider, a couple sliders, and you can pick specific colors and okay. it'll tell you what the RGB value is and this is what I'll do I'll start off doing I'll like pick the color that I'm looking for and then I'll try to match the RGB values in worm okay so now let's actually do something let let me try to create some dye what color dye should I create okay let's start with um you want to start with a green sure cuz uh we Green is a good one uh, because the material that you need is copper. And if you have a copper vein, then you pretty much have near unlimited, um, you know, supply of copper. More than you would need to dye. Okay, let me pass you some of this copper here. Let me trade with you. Okay, now as it, All right. yeah, as I said, each lump will potentially give you one kilogram of dye. What's going on here? Okay, so do you have a barrel with you or a, a pottery container? Jar. Pottery jar is good enough. Okay, so fill the pottery jar with water. Filling the pottery jar with water. Okay, activate either the lump or the water. Activate either the lump or the water. And right click the water. Yeah. I can create green dye eighty four percent. Yeah. So and your mm. natural substances is isn't that high. And my own natural substances substances is only twenty. Yeah, and then that's there it goes. It created one uh, one kg of water. Yeah, now of dye. But now the of thing dye. is here, you'll notice the quality of the dye that you just made is what? It's only 160 green and 95 red and blue. You can see here. Yeah, but you RGB. can also see the, the, the quality. You can also see the color that and, in the yeah. name. But I'm trying to get at a point here is that you can see the you'll quality know, is five. Yeah, you'll know that you got the highest quality, like the, high, the best RGB values if the quality of the dye matches the quality of the copper. 
Right, so the highest quality oh. die that you can make is 40 whatever it is. So if I fill this one and try again, you're yeah. saying that I could potentially create a completely different color? That's right. Now what I would normally do is I would toss away the 5 quality die because that's just horrible. You can, oh, you can yeah. try 40 test it. quality and it looks a lot better. And it says yeah. 40 quality. Let's look at the RGB value. Yeah, so the, the red and the blues are down to 60. Okay. 95 and the green is up to 195 instead of 160. And you can yeah. even see here the difference in color. This one's a lot. Yeah, this is a lot grayer, like a right. grayish. That's another yeah way of putting green. it. The, you get a gray in there. Uh, now the as Let's you're saying, like pour the, te that away. the text itself is telling you. Um, so so what how I would, do I make more than just yeah, one pound? Do I just got to keep doing it with a different you know? So with a different container. Yep. So I would need two containers, because I can't just put more water in this one, can I? Yeah, and normally oh. you would use a bigger container, like a barrel or something, uh, to put all the high-quality dye. I see, which we do have one, so let me see if I can get that. Let me get, I don't know, a couple pounds. So this one's only 34 quality. I guess for just for this uh, episode, I'll just mix it, because it'll probably take me a while to get really high quality dye. So you're saying I I'd just drag it into here. Yeah, I'd be interested to see what the RGB values, how that was affected by that. So I mixed them together and it made the red and the blue to 63. Okay, so it raised the It's actually a good trade-off. The other ones were 95. But it lowered the green by 3 as well. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Um, personally, I I toss anything that's not the quality that I want. Yeah, for if you were going to do this and you really wanted a really bright green, you would want as high a green value as possible and as low a red and blue value. Uh, that one was really bad, 17 quality. Yeah, so I'm going to pour that. Yeah, just keep going. Uh, I mean, some things don't really take that much dye at all to, to color. So with one kilogram of dye, you can... Uh, dye a lamp, for example, um, a barrel or a bucket or um, a small container. I think chests are pretty small, it takes a pretty small amount. If you want to know specifically how much dye an item will need, you can check on that dye page. On the wiki? On the wiki, and it basically tells you exactly how much dye you need for that specific item. Okay, so now that we know you're saying that since it's RGB values, so you can have, there's like one item that does red, there's, which is the cochineal, there's the one item that does green, which is the copper lumps, and one mm -hmm. item that does blue, which is the woad. So you'd mm -hmm. be doing this exact same thing for all three of those. But then how do you get other colors? Yeah, so there's... What's the... What's the like, how do I mix red and, you know, blue together, or red and green together? How do we yeah. do that and mix them? What would red and green gi give you, like a, like an orange or something like that, or yellow? I don't know. Yeah, the you'd have to check the wheel. RGB yeah, you'd have to check the wheel, and you'd have to look for the specific color that you're looking for. So if you actually, if you hold on to a wheel, like just so that I can comment on it, a good one, like. I would have well, to. I would have to. That previous capture, one that you had. That that previous one. If you could, that would be helpful. That previous one that you were on. Yeah, this one. Okay, so you'll Let notice. Let me screen capture it if you want people to see it. Yeah, it would be helpful to my expl explanation. It's kind of difficult difficult to explain without a go. visual. So everyone can see this wheel. This uh, website. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. So you'll notice the red blue and green area okay, so if you focus on that area those areas and then you look between them okay so mm -hmm. like, let's look at the red, red and, blue. Green and blue yeah if you're closer to the red between red and blue mm -hmm. so it, you'll get some kind of like light purple or magenta or something like that that's right okay so this RGB value is one that has a high red value and a relatively lower blue value so like yeah so it actually says here that it's 80 percent red and 40% blue. Oh, it doesn't tell you the RGB values? It doesn't say the RGB values on this website, unfortunately. Ah, uh, that sucks. Okay, so uh, 
if I were to guess, it would probably be something like 200 red and, you know, 120 blue or something. And then you want as low a green as possible to get the nice, vibrant and I don't know if we actually said this, but the highest in an RGB value, the highest number is 255. That's you right. You know this. That's so right. There's, there's nothing higher, and there's nothing lower than, z than zero. So if all three colors were zero, you get black. If all three colors were 255, you get white. That's right. right. And it doesn't, the quality of the mats don't scale linearly with the quality of the, or sorry, the RGB value that you get out of it. So like an 80 quality copper lump might still give you 235 or ish or 234 uh, RGB value, which is pretty good. So you don't really need that 100 quality material to get high RGB values. That's pretty good. So let's just go in this sense. If I was saying, if we were to mix green and red, then it would be like an orangey or a, a yellow. Yeah, as and it, it would depend on it would depend on where, like how high the red was, how high the green was. Though I would not go about it by just like haphazardly mixing green and red and hoping for the color I'd want. What I do is I look for I look at the color wheel for the specific color that I want. So let's mm -hmm. say I want that orange and I want it to be specifically this RGB value, then there is a strategy to go about getting that RGB value. Uh, okay. But, uh... It, it'll take a while to explain, so I don't know if you want to go into it right now. We'll, we'll definitely I think I will go into it by the end of the... into it. I just think I'll just throw colors in to each okay. other. So let's okay. do that. And let's figure <laughs> out just how it works. So yeah, I, okay. I don't even know how, how would I... Let's do some red. Okay, so... You're so... some red. I do have some cochineal here. Okay. So I'll just pour that down. So I'll just do the same thing like you were saying. I just yeah. fill a pottery uh, jar. Actually, that's not exactly how you would do it. So, uh, no, don't get me wrong. I wouldn't you do it this go, way? You can go right ahead and make some red dye and then mix the red and green dye together. Yeah. You'll get somewhere in between, but it's very hard to control what you get. It doesn't... It, it actually averages the value out. So whatever your green is on the green, and whatever your red is, or a green is on the red, like those numbers will average out if you mix them that way. So how would I go about? Let's say I wanted a. Oh, orange. let's go with orange. Then what would I do? Okay, so if you wanted an orange, uh, what was the RG? What was the green value on that green there? The green value on this was. 189. Okay, and orange is closer to red. So what you'll do is you'll take, you'll activate a cochineal. Yeah. yeah and right click the die, the so green I die. Right click the die with the cochineal. And there should be an option to mix. There is. All right. So what does that do? Okay, so you'll notice that'll raise the red value of the RGB. It did. Now it'll only raise the red, it'll keep all the others the ah. same. I see. And you can keep doing this to the desired level. Now, the the highest RGB value you can get to is limited by the quality that you're mixing in. So what I usually do is I'll waste all my low-quality cochineal raising it up and then to its max, and then I'll pick some higher-quality cochineal and pop it in there and keep doing that until I get to the exact RG, like R value that I want. So we're just we're just winging it here, but yeah. So you'll go through a yellow-ish green. Yeah, uh, to I, start I feel off. like this is gonna turn, make everything turn yellow. Yeah. Now you got to keep going. You, the if you want an orange, you got to get a higher, a higher red value than green. And truly, if you really wanted to start out with an orange, what I would do is. I would probably start by making a cochineal based because it's closer to red. Then why didn't you just tell me to do that? Well, we didn't uh, know that we wanted orange uh. at the time. I'm like fighting this red. I'm not sure. If yeah, you might not make it. Go high. You might not make it. What if they're equal? And that does that give us uh, a yellow? Maybe I'll just do yellow. Equal will make it perfectly yellow. Now the issue is the yellow won't be great because of the blue that's still in there. And there's no way to get that blue away. 
Right? Remember that blue came from the fact that the copper that you started with was low quality copper. If you want that blue value out of there, you have to start with really high quality copper. So this is all related to uh, this is completely related to just quality control. You That's just right. need a high quality of everything, high quality uh, mats, and That's high right. quality skill in natural substances because that will determine how high your dye is going to end up being. Uh, I, I think it's it won't block you from creating the highest quality dye, but you get a very low turn turnout. Like if you did a hundred dyes you'd get a very small amount of it coming out the highest quality of that your mats could be but the higher That's quality right. natural substances that you have you get a much bigger uh, I don't know, turnout you get a lot more of the higher quality stuff than the low quality stuff That's I would right. assume it uh, essentially makes it so that you uh, you've been working on this stuff yep I mean I'm, I just I'm not said drink I do not want to drink that but yeah, I'm not an would... expert or anything, but I, I have about 40 skill now, which isn't great, but it's probably enough. Uh, it's enough at least for me to make the die that I want to make. Which so was I what? What did you want to make? Which is just any die. Like, like if I have an 80 quality material, getting it, getting the die to come out at 80 quality is still is not an issue at my skill. So 40 is generally enough. Um, I, of course, I could always get it, make it easier, but it's a matter of grinding a skill that I don't know. It's a matter of grinding a skill. That's all. Another skill yeah. to grind. I was told when I first started out that forty is a good enough skill. Like forty will get you what you want. So I got to forty, and I You're felt happy like with it that? was. I, I'm happy. Maybe one day I'll bring it to sixty or seventy or whatever. But, but not now. Um, I'm not sure right. of the payout, right? Like, I don't think like, the amount of time it'll take to get to 70, let's say, versus the payout. All right, well, for this show, I will leave it at this. I got the RGB, or I got the red around the same, 190, which is around the same as the, the green, which is 189. Uh, it came out like a muddy yellow, but that's my skill level and it's because I'm rushing here. Uh, but you guys can see, I didn't really talk about the different colors that you can create. And you can create s some crazy colors because it uses these RGB values instead of using, uh, you know, instead set of just colors. giving you set colors, you're yeah. creating the colors that you want to see completely. And I don't think I've ever seen a system like this. I'm sure there probably is, but out of the games that we played in the past, this oh, is yeah. probably the most fleshed out die system that we've seen, personally. Uh, and you can die almost everything. Let's take a look at different things that we can die. And um, what we've actually done is and something that if you are a die maker and you have you, you put your die inside of small barrels, I would just paint that small barrel the same color as the die. That's right. And that way, when you put it down, there's my there's my muddy yellow. <laughs> <laughs> it's like mustard yellow. Mustard yellow. Yeah. And there is uh, now you know which one has uh, what color. So we actually have different dyes in here that that we that we have. Uh, I'm gonna take some black. This is supposed to be black. And I'm gonna go and show you guys what it's like to actually paint something. So I for a while. Do you have your uh, lamp on? Your lantern. Yep. Yeah, come over here because you? you still haven't made me a lantern yet after you took mine. <laughs> and I am going to paint this horse statue. I think I will paint it this dark black color. Yeah, we saw this on Epic, so if you were watching That's our right, previous videos. Last video. Oh, yeah, that Whoa. looks really nice. Let's do this one. I like it. So you just right, yeah. you just activate the the die and you just right click and say paint, and then it goes. That's right. That's right. And each item in the game takes a different amount of paint. Yeah. So how much are these taking? I can imagine up to like. Uh, under one, it looked like. Under one. Okay. 
That's you want to do the other sides too while we're at it? Uh, sure. And while I do that disclaimer, the new shader system, the new shader system that was entered in the game for Worm 1.1, changes the look of dyes. And That's I currently right. have that shader system off. And because I can't actually record while I have it on when I'm in this village. Because <laughs> yeah, there's just this... too much stuff in this village. Yeah. Uh, but if you notice, if you really paid attention, I had it on for our last epic video. For all... the... we No, you had it on for the Worm 1.1. 1. 1. Oh, I see what you're saying. I did have it on. I turned it on for the Worm 1.1, 1. but I had it on for the entire uh, epic video. And I'll probably turn it back on for that. Because I can, my computer can handle it if it if we're not in our village. <laughs> like, yeah, I know. In in our village, even even my computer without recording is running at times at like ten frames per second, yeah. which is really <laughs> strange. So what else can we do? Now another thing that people tend to do with dyes is to dye their lanterns or lamps, which is gives a really interesting effect because it doesn't only just dye the lantern or lamp All right, let's... it also dyes the light that it emits so the the light that's casted do you have any tar i have some tar so i will fill this and turn it on and okay, i what don't is this? i don't believe that it has any color on it if you want to tell if it has any color on it you just right click it examine it and it will tell you it'll give you an rgb value if it had dye on it yeah but it doesn't. So if you turn off your your lantern now, because your lantern will get in the way. That's right. Mine's a interestingly enough a very very white dye. So there it is. So let's paint this something that uh, will show up. For example, you want to do a red or a green? Or a um, let's do a. You know what? Uh, do you want to do a purple or a teal? Because I got some of those. Well, I was just talking about the colors that are in this. Uh, these okay, areas. why don't why don't you just why don't you just do a, a run of those? It doesn't really matter. I will make it red just to show you guys the effect of what what happens when you die. A light. Nothing happened. It it turned it turned it red. What happened? It turned it red, but the light didn't change. Maybe I just need to reset here. Let's go far away from it. It made the it made the actual the actual lamp really, really red. The post. Okay. But for some reason, it didn't refresh the light. Maybe that's a new uh, problem that that came up. Yeah, did you have to turn it off and on again? And that Here you can it? sort of see. This is actually a bluer color than this side. Although that could just be my eyes. Oh, it is blue. You can see the RGB values here. Okay, well, I do have... I was making some dyes for some things around the area, and uh, I wanted not... Oh, I see. It did. You're telling me it didn't, didn't change, turn, the change the color. Did it change the color for you? No. Did you uh, did you snuff it and turn it back on again? Oh, that's something I didn't do. Oh, I guess I should drink some water. Let's try that. Yeah, that ah, did it. There you go. I didn't have to run away. What am I doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm like trying to get far, far enough away. There it goes. So you have to snuff and turn it back on until they fix that small bug. Uh, but you can see the difference. It's so red and vibrant red, especially with this yeah. color red. It changes yeah. the entire atmosphere, the entire environment. You can turn your village into like the Halloween horror show <laughs> if you yeah. really wanted to. Um, and I've seen, I know on, I've seen especially on Delhi. There's like long stretches where people keep changing colors along like their their hallways or something it keeps changing as you you're walking through or in caves and it makes like an eerie blue uh, light the lights in this game are crazy the fact that they can you know emit these mm -hmm. these great 
colors. Yeah, um, a couple of cool ideas that I saw. One was along a canal, somebody placed red and green colors, like red and green light lanterns, like to mimic the boating red and green p- pylons or whatever, oh. which is kind of <laughs> cool. I saw. And another one is uh, some guy nearby, or, or just on on Delhi, I guess, was, and it wasn't some guy. It was like a whole bunch of guys who created tunnel systems, like massive tunnel systems to make traveling faster. And uh, there were three specific tunnels that they named by color. So there was the blue tunnel, the red tunnel, and the green tunnel. And within each one, all of the lanterns are dyed that specific color so that you know kind of where, which tunnel you're in. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cool. Is, that now, is a nice system. Oh, I'm going to show that if you wanted to get rid of the red, but you had it yeah. and you're like, I want to do my, my mustard yellow color, because who wouldn't? And they they would want it to be light and the light instead. You just have to paint over it, and it just takes the new color. It doesn't match or mix the colors together. So let's uh, snuff that. And oh, that reminds me, I forgot to bring the metal brush. There we go. It's like a greeny, yellowy taint to everything. Uh, But. Yeah, like Adam was saying, who completely didn't get prepared for this show. <laughs> uh, there, if you wanted to remove the paint altogether, then all you had to do is you can create an item called the metal brush, which I believe was just like a shaft and metal wires. wires yeah, you need a cu- couple metal wires, put them together, and attach them to a shaft. Yeah, which I tried to get this guy to do today. See, you know that uh, that uh, that sailboat that you got there is that's the sail itself is a good screen, like it reflects the color oh, nicely, you're right? Right, like you can see. I mean, all the items will reflect the color, but it's like that one. Yeah. So let's look at this. Let's try to dye this one. Uh, here, 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 I got a nice dye. Yeah. Let's do let's do a teal. All right, you do teal while I get this purple. This teal took me quite a while to get. It's um, a combination of. Whoops, let's snuff this. I started with a really high quality. Um, why can't I snuff it? With your steel and flint, I will do it. Okay, there we go. I started with a really high quality green. Mm-hmm. It's more like a aqua or whatever. An aqua. It color. is an aqua color. Yeah. So I, I started with a really high quality green, and then I mixed in as much woad as I could find. N- the reason is because green, be- being copper, you can mine that stuff, and it's like getting a high quality stuff is not very difficult. Whereas woad, man, that's a pain. <laughs> woad comes from botanizing, which brings me to another point, I guess, about dyeing is that it's not only your natural substances that you have to work on; it's also the uh, skills related to gathering the materials for it. So, uh, woad requires a high botanizing skill. Cochineal will require a high butchering skill. We all have um, those, right? Oh yeah. Copper will be mining, of course. So, uh, yeah, I have that covered. And, um, and I don't. What's the other one? Black. Oh no, there's zinc, which is also mining. That zinc is white. I don't think we mentioned that, which will essentially raise all the RGB value. RGB values really high, uh, and that gives a little bit of a brighter tinge to things. So, my preference is to dye all your lanterns white. And then the last color is black, and that one requires some nifty weird stuff, like acorns, which is also botanizing ash which is fire making and you have to make high quality lye which is what <laughs> right, natural so, substances uh, I guess <laughs> as you go on and list almost every skill in the game let's yeah. move on to dyeing this banner purple sure All right, let's do that I want to see what this so banners come out if you're a clock tailor just plain white like all banners they just come out white and I think so oh, that it right. allows you to dye it any color you want. And in this isn't case, it, isn't it gray? Gray, white, it's all the same. 
<laughs> That's probably gray. Okay, so I just turned on my lantern light. so that we can see so it. So it looks pretty good. I like this purple. It's not Here, let... bright purple. It's got a little mud to it. Okay, but... so take keep your eye on it, and I'm going to paint it in a different purple. Let's see what mm. it... Whoa. That's like royal purple. Yeah. See, this is the purple I worked on as well, trying to get it. And I, I, it's still not where I want it to be, but I couldn't get enough woad. What I want to do is because you can, you can go around, have fun with painting. I want to paint this boat. That's why I put this boat here. I want to paint this entire boat. But you need a lot of dye to paint this boat, and I don't have enough dye to paint this. Actually, I might have enough dye. I might you have might. my like mustard yellow. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to drive a mustard yellow sailboat? Huh? <laughs> I think I might change the name of the sailboat to mustard yellow. So mustard this mustard yellow sailboats take five, I think, or something. It takes like five, almost five and a half pounds a or something. Decent like. amount. Yeah, it's a decent Whoa. amount. Oh, <laughs> nice. Let's Whoa. turn off the teal. Let's turn off the teal light here to see if. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like we're driving around in piss. No, it's like <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I don't know. Maybe later on we can rename this boat <laughs> <laughs> the Mustard Yellow Mobile. <laughs> if you see us driving a uh, uh, mustard yellow <laughs> sailboat, maybe we'll we'll drive it past your place sometime. Then you'll know it's us. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so did you go get the metal thing or are you still... I'm on my way. Okay, there goes Adam. And as he goes off, uh, I want to also show you that you can actually paint walls to houses. So in this case, I really don't have enough to paint anything except this black. So I'm going to waste some of this black paint. Are you okay with that? Uh, okay. Black as is as black. Is really, says, uh, I know I do hesitate to say it because walls are going to take a lot of black, and black is the hardest dye to make. All right, let's takes see the, what else we have. Worse to skill up skills like botanizing. I got enough really high level. Uh, oh, it's only twenty one quality. I got enough twenty one quality green. Is that okay? Yep. All right, let's let's mustard up this place. So it actually does it in wall segments. So you just right click a wall segment and it uses one uh, one quality. Whoa, that's really green. Uses one pound or one weight. I've got 14 weight left of this. I should be able to paint mostly all the way around. I'm not sure if you can paint roofs. I don't think you can. I don't think you can. No. But you can paint your walls. So let's go around. You can even paint the doors. Now, I remember one complaint that you had about the dyeing. I had a complaint um, about dyeing. I mean, it was like you would dye an item and you thought like the color just sort of replaced the t something. It made it look kind of unrealistic. Um, you can really see it with the, let's say, the the boat here. So, you know, if, if you were painting a boat, you would paint you know, the wood. And it makes, it like puts it over the entire object. It even painted the sail, painted everything. It makes it look like a toy, which is kind of funny. But yeah, I think with the new shaders, it does look different. Uh, I noticed if you watch our Worm 1.1 video, the my cart, which is like a really gray, it looks like there's like gray painted all over it, becomes more of like a hue, changes the hue of that color to, to a different color. It doesn't look like it's painted over anymore. That's uh, right. Which could be good depending on, I mean, it could be good or bad depending on your preference. If there's, there's no right or wrong in art. Right? <laughs> Yeah, this green's not terrible. It's a very bright green. I guess not that bright since it's only uh, 21 quality, but 
still looks quite bright and quite funny. And I, I've heard talk in the past, like especially here, if you were to paint your your house, it wouldn't paint your door. I've heard talk that they might be looking into uh, having different parts of an object paintable than other parts of the same object. Instead That'd of nice. right now, it's just all one object. Something weird is happening on my screen. Good thing but we're not looking at your screen. Yeah, it's like if I highlight the the door, then the outline is like moving. For some oh reason. yeah, I believe that's just a current bug that hopefully they will get. Fixed. Do you get that too? Uh, on some houses, but not this one right now. Do you have to dye the inside too? No, right? No. No, it's the whole thing. But I'll do the, the back from inside here. Gotcha. And we're seeing it. Yeah, even the inside will be all green. It's like you're living in. Uh, uh, you're living in the the riddle house or something. <laughs> Two, three right. more segments here. Each wall segment takes one kilogram of dye, which is a significant amount. I mean, that's essentially Not so one. so much, but if you have a big house. Like, we're talking about painting the castle, but uh, <laughs> then we're talking about, you know, probably a thousand walls or so. That's going to take a long time. <laughs> you better get die making. Yeah. It's not about die making, it's about gathering them in the mats. <laughs> right, I would hate to think about so gathering really hard, like five thousand woad. <laughs> so anyway. that we can get the quality we want. There's our new green guest house. So everyone can come on down to our village and check out the new green house. Uh greenery <laughs> all right so I'm gonna drop all these uh, so we've talked about almost everything talked about how to die we've talked about oh, our guess we've talked about what is dying we talked about how to do it the different methods of the RGB values and how to raise one and lower one we talked about how to mix the colors together to get colors that are in between the RGB values to get many different kinds of colors and talked about how quality and skill makes a big difference and you listed off almost every skill in the game and that always has some kind of impact into how each die comes out all the mats and all the the different quality and on top of that there is a little bit of chance you could like even with the highest of the high skills you still only have a chance to make good quality die. You still come out with low qualities that you have to pour out. You just come out with less. So I think at the very end here, let's let's say I want to get rid of all the dyes. We're finally prepared for this, right? That's right. <laughs> so you're going to pass me over. You would use this tool, the metal brush. All right. You just highlight it. Why don't we start with the boat? <laughs> don't want them. Uh, are you sure yeah this is like the best sure. color boat <laughs> I'm gonna start off with this banner oh but the banner has the uh, good purple on it <laughs> fine get rid of this boat it's good color this boat uh, <laughs> remove paint so in 15 seconds it just gets rid of the paint and you start out fresh you owe me some kiss piss colored paint. <laughs> there we go. All better. And that's die making. Anything else you want to say before we end this die making episode? Anything we missed? I don't know. I mean, I think we covered it all. Thank you everyone for watching. Please go to our website at serversardown.com if you want to watch more videos and go like us on Facebook at serversardown.com or just serversardown or find us on Twitter at Factional Fight and we also have a YouTube channel somewhere I think it's just called Factional Fight so go look up our other videos and we'll see you guys on the next episode take care guys